Okay, welcome to this roguelite action uh, gladiator arena combat somewhat RPG fantastic little game here and it's it's great fun made by a singular developer and uh, let's jump into it Atalus Informal Informal all right let's have a look at this new weapon to unlock Ta-da! you can see uh, cost and uh, if you want to hold on to it till next week because maybe you don't have the money it does cost fame so certain things cost fame certain things do not um, we can actually take off this jug and just sell it for money, which is pretty great. So I think I'll do that. Um, we'll sell that. We'll buy and we don't need an extra inventory slot. So this is what you hold between rounds. It's pretty great. A cleaver, a short one-handed sword. Um, we can have a look at our character quickly and we can see our strongest uh, skills are polearm, spear and shield. And uh, two-handed swords. Uh, Cleaver is not a two-handed sword, and neither is this Owakan Chaka. So, I'm really tempted to kind of re-roll. Ooh. Um, as you can see, I've not reviewed... 317 out of 137? I don't... Under okay, so it's backwards here, but that's fine. I've revealed 138 out of 317 weapons, or items, I guess. Splitter Chaka. A uh, nice two-handed weapon there. A nice one-handed... Wowee, look at that bad boy. Weapon here. Uh, we could actually buy this, and it is pretty good. So, I'm going to do that, because we don't have a weapon. Bang. Uh, you can see it's got durability, speed, range, fame multiplier, which is a nice one. Um, it's strong against shields. Very good to know. We can have a look at the next item that's available. An impressive Domori Colors Helm. Uh, does give me negative fame. We'll have a look at the career management here. You can heal up for free uh, once per week, or maybe it's just once ever. Um, you can pay for your things to be repaired over the week. You can pay for specific items you request, so two-handed items of some, some sort of quality, um, and so on and so forth. You can bribe a patron, which we'll have a look at later. You can fundraise for more fame per gold, which is kind of just transitioning money between each way. But we're just going to move forward for now. So, Atalas in Farmer, week one. Um, you can probably tell that there's not a lot of information. Uh, you can choose to reveal information here, and it will reveal certain aspects, uh, such as which patron uh, is hosting the event, um, what the awards are, so you can see this is kind of a special one, 10% of the gold reward is invested in your next character, so if this one dies, the next one gets a little bit of a bonus to start with, which is really cool. Um, I think we just go with this specialty one, although this is a, a purple, this might be nice to get, um, and you can see the, the award ratings, this has two extra bonus things. Um, and that does sound very nice, so I'm actually going to do that. There is betting. You can put a thousand down, and if you make the challenge or the bet, you get a payout of however much money. Pretty simple. All right, let's go to the battle. The slums, and there's different types of maps. So there's insurance, prestigious, and luck of the draw. Insurance means all of your items' durability stays the same. Uh, prestigious, we know. And luck of the door, draw, all aspirants go into battle without weapons. Weapons are provided by the public. So they throw in weapons from the outside area. And this is my starting spot. Oh, let's do it. All right, apologies for the start of the video with no audio. Let's go grab this quickly. Oh, my weapon broke immediately. So, if you've ever played a game called, uh, oh, Kingdom Come, you can kind of recognize this combat. Oh, you got him. And I'm going to start, charge up my, oh, he got me there.
Oosh. We swing and we, we... Oh, got him. Good block, good block. Hey, look at that! Ooh! Ooh! Wow, I am very tall, aren't I? So we've got a little stamina bar down the bottom there, and we can use our dodge, which... Wow, it takes up all of our stamina. Uh, we can also sprint a little bit, which slowly drains it, or attacking will also drain it. Uh, it uses a physics-based system, so when I'm swinging, if I turn my mouse at the same time, it will actually increase the speed of the weapon, which is how they describe it in the tutorial, and uh, you will get a bigger damage bonus. You can do an overhand or a charged overhand. Um, yeah. So, we won. Let's have a look. Reward. Ah, here are the four patrons. Uh, Alua, Georgius, Valerius, and Mazach. Um, we got a little bit of a fame audience multiplier. So if you're doing good, uh, the audience will actually improve your fame point payout, which is really nice. And uh, that was week one. Try and enjoy it before dying. Thanks. I will try and enjoy my spoils. After every match, you do get one free heal. Um, but it sometimes won't be a full heal, as you can see right there. Adoring fan, you descend after your last match and sit down to rest and remove your weapons when someone nervously approaches you. I'm the biggest fan. After your last performance, I just had to slip by the gate guards and meet you. Please take this family heirloom. Oh my gosh. Well, that's just phenomenal. A throwing pilly. Um. I don't think I really want it. Humbly decline the gift, citing it must stay in the family. I think it does. I think you need to keep on, keep it. But thank you. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm so honourable. I got 500 bonus fame. Phenomenal. Let's have a look at what the shop is selling this week. We've got an adequate oval shield sun. That is a big sun shield. A malum mask, which is yeah, not great. And uh, a, a cloth leg wrap which is also not great i don't think we need to spend our money on anything besides some training gear because our character is has no stamina how is he looking now we have we, we officially have one stamina Woo! all right well that's unironically going to help a little bit and uh let's move forward i don't no, we don't really have money to spend. We, we spent a little bit on training gear, so we're going to keep on keeping on. A Talas Infarmo, week two, survivor, civilian, all that good stuff. So you can see this is a, a, a you versus pit slave versus a random type of enemy. Um, so you can't tell what that is. It could be a, you know, an epic person, a, a proper warrior, but probably unlikely. Um, we can see our host, Georgius Lacurius. If you fight for a host, they tend to like you more. If you fight for a host, the other hosts, the other patrons, do not generally like that very much. So you can always try and just choose one. Um, but, you know... So we can't see anything about these fights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal and see if there's any useful information for a hundred pain. Oof. All right. So it's me versus one enemy. It's a one v one. It's a level four difficulty. Impatient crowd. Golden fame reward starts at twenty five percent and goes down to negative twenty five percent over two minutes. Um, there's a fair bit of money to be had, which I think we need. And I'm looking forward to a little bit of a challenge. And there's also one more thing in there. So. Let's choose this. Don't have enough money to place a bet, unfortunately, and we're trying to win as quick as possible. Might be difficult with our lack of stamina. Now, this game is uh, permadeath, so each character that dies is, is dead. Um, but you have ways of making your next following characters even stronger, which we did see a little bit earlier. Um, this is a, a bit of a, a special arena, 
We're gonna move up insurance so all our gear is kind of repaired. Alright, and we're in. I'm just gonna... Oh, come on, there we go. Let's cheer a little bit. Oosh! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I missed. So you can see here... There is a... Oh no! I've got no stamina at all. You can see there's a, there's a trap. Oh, can I get him with a trap? Alright. Alright, good hit, good hit. Alright, we're getting a little bit of damage in. Oh! Let's hit him with a kick. Oh no. The crowd's getting impatient. Oh. I can't kill him, I have no attacks that do damage. My character has no skill in any weapons. Oh no. Oh, I won't get any bonus now. Oh, he, he's broken his armor. Oh, I've got him chopped in half. The crowd is ecstatic after that kill. I mean, it was a slow one. I'll, I'll admit, it was a slow one. Um, now you can see they also drop in certain things like this jug. It's ordinary. There's a, there's my axe. Um, there was his weapon right there. There's some, <laughs> there's a stool. But yeah, there's this trap that you can trigger and it, it'll trap, uh, spike everyone. Uh, there can be a lot of people in one arena. Alright, so we've gained a little bit of favour in this man's favour. Plus 12 is actually quite a lot. Uh, we got, uh, a little bit of 127 multiplier for the audience, um, even though we took our time trying to kill him. So very nice, very good. Let's take that money. And our hard-earned victory has reaped some benefits. Try to enjoy it before you die. We've leveled up! So we can actually choose certain things which is pretty cool. This one, uh, 100 plus to all next characters, 100 plus fame. Um, which is actually really cool just for future plays, playthroughs. Jumping out of the way of stale bread thrown at your head by companions has enhanced your ability. We can dash uh, even more. I'm really not entirely clear what that 15.8 means. Maybe it's distance you dash. But for all future playthroughs, definitely going to take the extra 100 fame per start. Uh, we healed up a bit, so we are actually full. We're doing quite well on the health front. We've got one right foot boot, which is swift, gives us movement speed, and padded, so it's not weak against blunt weapons. Um, you can see leather is probably stronger against certain types, uh, not just leather, but any armor is, is stronger against certain types. Um, but then they can be really strong, kind of like a Diablo style game, where you get extra perks and bonuses. And this boot comes with padded, which makes it not weak against blunt weapons, kind of like Metal Gear would be naturally. Now we have a bit of money and fame. Our stamina is actually growing very nicely, and I do think I want to keep upgrading my stamina. Um, can I do it? How much do I need for this? Just five. All right, we're going. We're going one more. We have 5,000 fame. We can start looking at some of these, like, unionize. First set of matches can be re-rolled for free. Mm. Extraordinary, more high-quality items appear. Average item plus one. Actually, I will take that, and we'll start looking for some nicer gear while we hold on to our money a bit longer. Uh, cool. So we've got our training gear. We've got a bit of extra shop rarity. Um... We don't really have enough to buy these expensive pieces. So, moving forward, a Talos Infamo will have a boss battle next week. Don't focus on next week, focus on the now. We have got a many versus many coming up. It's me, Pit Slave, Civilian, Criminal, Pit Slave again, and Civilian again, versus a pretty similar team with a Pit Maceman. Deal 200 damage to teammates. 
and I get an extra thousand gold. I can only take one of these, so I've got to be pretty smart. I think... I think this one might be best. I think I just start hitting my teammates at the end of the round and, and try and get that extra big money. Let's do it. Many versus many. So you've got a slightly larger arena, which we'll see. The Grand Plaza. Uh, fantastic art style, all created by a single developer. It looks beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, it, the, the, the ambience, the tension. Oh, it's so good. And I believe it's just hit its second year anniversary of, of early access. Um, so you can see my squad here running out. I don't want to sprint because uh, I don't have a lot of stamina. And I'm just going to slowly walk up. And we're just going to smack. Oh, got him. I'm trying to... Ugh. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, nice. I gotta hit 200. Oh, the audience disliked me doing that. What a shock. Did not like me trying to kill my own teammate, as it turns out. Oh, I've taken a hit there. So usually uh, the, the extra reach on these two-handed weapons um, can get you through a lot. Oh, I've got him. He's down. Do we, do we just... Oh no, I've hit my own friend again. I don't know how much damage I'm doing. Let's let's go for a cheer and try and cheer everyone up a little. Oh no. He's he's rocking a loop. Oh. Oh, oh I'm, I'm I'm fighting for my life with this no stamina issue. Oh, he's down. You know what? We're just, we're just gonna start smacking people. Oh no, I'm open already. <laughs> the loot. Okay, okay. Get the, uh, get the stand back. Get the stand back. Well, it's just. Oh no, I wanted to hit my friend, hit my teammate, get the damage done. Oh no. Ooh. Attack. Attack. Oh, his head. Straight off his shoulders. Let's see. Maybe like a... Yeah, nice. 26.1 damage is actually... I've got to do a lot more damage to my team. Oh, I got him in the head there. Oh, nice work. I'm just going to start hitting my teammates. Oh, yes, very good. I gotta, I wanna, I wanna hit, whoa, what was he doing? Oh, I've decapitated him! So, essentially what I'm doing here is, is trading my, my probably bonus fame that I would have received for uh, a bit of bonus money. I need that stamina back. Wow, wait. We need, to, we need to probably hit our teammates a little bit more before the end of the match. <gasps> How much am I doing? 20 per hit? I don't think I've done 200 yet. I am murdering all of my team! Oh no! God, oh, it'd be embarrassing if I died too. He's down. He's down too! I mean, what a way to finish it. The audience is, you know, not on my fa favour uh, too much there, but I'll take it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I know. I'm a hero. So, Jordius right now is really liking us. Alora is uh, falling out with us, but uh, it's fine. Fame kind of dropped a little bit, and we did do over 200 damage. 
So we got our extra 2,000 gold payout. Fantastic. We got four kills. I think probably a few of them were a team kill. <laughs> Fantastic. Another level up. Plus 2,000 gold to the next uh, character. Or plus 6.4 6 two-handed axes. Now I'm using a two-handed axe. So I think I might actually take that. 2,000 gold is really good, but for this character who has no weapon skill, that's super useful. Let's unlock what the shop is offering us here. Spiked club, footwear. Uh, we now have 21 stamina, which is phenomenal. Um, but the shop is not really showing us anything. We're going to unlock a fourth slot uh, with some fame, just so we can see more per shopping experience. Now let's get a bit more of this and add some two-handed axe training. So we're going to learn four stam here and uh, another 2.6 axe skill with our five training regime there. 3,000 and 3,000. We could get Aspirant Welfare, so the healing price of each procedure is cut by 20%. Um, every time you do heal, besides this one, so that's free. I'll take that. But now it goes up, uh, that's 1,000. It's, it's quite expensive, so having that slightly cheaper is, is pretty useful. Uh, Physician's Base Heal increased. It's 12 to 17 and a half, but you could make it uh, 35 to 45, which we will do soon. But we don't need to worry about that too much yet. Our boots and everything are very simple. We might want to look at getting better gear soon. So let's hit reroll. Let's unlock what these are. Oh, oh, oh. Blunt and piercing plus fame. Oh my word, that is quite nice. I do kind of want this. This gives me five extra stamina. Um, these don't really give me much. That gives me a little fame multiplier, which is quite nice. I think I'll grab this. I don't have any sturdy uh, braces yet, so let's buy that, and it's immediately equipped, and you can see the, the gear actually equips onto your character. It's really nice. Um, this hat kind of gives me a lower <laughs> fame multiplier, which I don't like. Ooh, that's a two-handed axe. That's exactly what I'm supposed to be good at. And then you can see the durability actually does start taking hits. Every time you hit someone's armor or shield, it does lower the durability. So you do have to be careful, especially against stronger enemies, where your uh, your weapon will be taking a beating. Um, it's kind of tempting to buy just to have a backup weapon. So I might do that. What's the, what's the damage difference? The range is about the same. The speed's slightly higher. The durability is much weaker. Uh, it does multi-hit though, you know what? We're gonna buy it, we're gonna try it out next round. Oh, this looks like a legendary, a godly item. Wow. That is pretty cool looking. 50% fame multiplier. Um, it's only 236. Uh, hell yeah, we're gonna buy that. <laughs> the issue is it doesn't provide much armor, but Man, 50% multiplier is huge. And I might add, it looks phenomenal. So that's exciting. Uh, this is 520. We don't quite have enough for that. So let's move in to the next fight, which will be versing a taskmaster, a boss battle. The fight will grant a new talent. Now, I don't understand what happens because I've never done it. If you don't choose the elite fight, which is 1v4, you don't get the trait bonus, and the week will move forward, I assume. Um, but it's kind of useful to have these traits. Uh, spoil to the victor. Oh, this is phenomenal. You keep whatever weapon and or shield you exit the arena with. So whatever he has, he can he can drop his weapon when he, when he dies, and I can pick it up and leave the arena and keep it. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this big one. Um, this probably is going to be a bit of a toughie. There's three thralls, which are like not very well equipped, and the Taskmaster, which I'm sure will be a nice, difficult fight. Uh, Alright, let's do it.
Woo! Oh boy. The great pit. Oh yes, look at this fantastic looking fella. Alright, this might be a difficult fight. Here we go. Da -da -da. Where's the big boy? That man didn't have a head for a second. Ooh. Oh, I gotta play it slower. I gotta play it slower. Let's let's try and use this high ground here. Oh. 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 We're taking hits. We're taking hits. Oh. Oh boy, this is very difficult without any sort of stamina. Oh no. Come on. Gotcha. Good hit, that one. Oh, you blocked that one. That was good. That was a good block. Oh, big hit. Oh, one down. We're on a roll here. Oh, good block. Oh, counter-attack. Perfect. Oh, oh, he's killed his friend. Or was that a pot from the from the outside ring? Thank you, kind civilian. Ah! Come on, get that hit. Yes, phenomenal. All right, big boy McGee is coming for me. All right, he has a a, a butt ton of uh, armor on, which is a problem. Aya! Let's go for a kick. I need him to drop his shield if I'm going to do any hurt for him. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Good block. Oh! Oh no, stamina, stamina. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no! Oh. It is what it is. Well, lesson learned, stamina is surprisingly important. Um, not so much the damage of the weapon, which also is important, but having the stamina to use the weapon. Oh boy, that, that is useful. <laughs> and it tells you a little, bit of a, a little bit of a rundown. Now, my first run, this little message down the bottom was, please don't uninstall. Um, fantastic. Uh, 173 big ones into the next character. Fantastic. And then you, you're just straight in to picking another character. Whoa, look at this fella. He's a giant. He's a fencer. He's a bit slow. And he refuses to wear a chess piece. 